I'm Chris McDonald, host of the Holistic Counseling Podcast. I'm also a holistic therapist and I own a private practice called Path to Hope Counseling. And I'm also a registered yoga teacher. And I am author of the book, Self Care for the Counselor, and recently released workbook, which is a companion workbook to the book. So I am here today to introduce myself. And I want to let you know that I will be coming around posting more videos in this YouTube channel. Wanted to share more of my genius with you because I am so excited to be offering course creation to therapists. So I just started my second pilot course for mental health therapists about how to integrate yoga into sessions. And this is so exciting. I feel like I'm blazing a new path in mental health therapy about using the body in therapy, which is, I think, so needed because so many people live in their heads. So they live up here and don't know what's happening from the neck below. So getting people to really know and feel and tune in to sensations in the body is just so invaluable. And a lot of times in neurobiologically, when we're in stress, when we're anxious, our brain shuts down, right? So the prefrontal cortex is the front of our brain. So when we're anxious and stressed, it's always harder to think. You probably know this when you've experienced stress. So getting into the body and doing breath work, meditation, which is part of yoga, movement practices, this can help calm things down. And plus, guess what? These are coping skills that you can teach clients so that they have the tools to better manage stress, so that they can improve their ability to handle stressors out in the world. So you are helping them build their inner resource, their inner resiliency, which is just phenomenal if you think about it. So talk therapy is great, but I take it one step further. Cause I feel like in my career, I got to the CBT wall where, yeah, you can, you can do some great things with talk therapy and that relationship is really powerful, that therapeutic relationship and CBT, I still use it, but I integrate it with holistic things because you can only go so far. And I see a lot of people in my therapy, therapy practice who have been in therapy for years and they just feel stuck. It's like, I, I can't get any further with my healing. So with holistic practice. Therapy practices can help you get unstuck, which is just phenomenal and so amazing. I love it. Ah, yes. So getting into the body is one of the benefits. Teaching clients these skills is another benefit. And then the really cool part as a therapist that you do this with them. So you're not just teaching and just saying, inhale, bring your arm up. <laughs> so you're doing it with them. So you're getting the dual benefit. So you're getting to calm your own nervous system. Because part of the yoga I teach clients is about nervous system regulation. It's not about doing fast motion and sweating and hot yoga, <laughs> nothing like that, or 100 sun salutations. How many can you do in a row? No, it's all about slow, mindful movement. Mindful yoga, think of it that way. And being able to calm or ground yourself or on the opposite, if you're more depressed, to be able to bring energy into the body, to be able to bring yourself up from depression is the kind of yoga that I teach as well. And I teach therapists as well. So you may hear my cat. <laughs> this is Annabelle, I can't help her. She comes in, she will interrupt at times. So just know that she's here. But I am grateful that you're here with me on this YouTube channel and I will be bringing new content each week and I hope you can tune in to the Holistic Counseling Podcast. I will bring in lots of different wonderful guests to talk about different holistic modalities. I help therapists deepen their knowledge of holistic modalities that can help clients and as well as themselves with self-care also helping therapists deepen their self-care and build their practice with confidence. And once again, this is Chris McDonald sending each one of you much light and love. Till next time, take care.